Money Bound TV, I'm coming to y'all after getting surgery. I had um, I had to get something done right here to my tooth, you feel me? But I'm finna show y'all my jacket that I bought that I'm gonna take with me on my first tribal respiratory therapy assignment. It came in here, as you can see, it's very fragile. And it says, no knife, don't use no knife. But I do what I wanna do, you feel me? No, I haven't. I do what I want. Where the hell my knife at? <laughs> no knife. I'm using a knife. No. This North Face what? That's what it is though. You said, you said North Face. Well, first thing first, you came this right here. How much that is? Let's say 169. You see my pad? I got, got a little, I got a little short set. So you see my shorts though? These my North Face shorts. You feel me? North Face. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, I got, I got the whole set. I got the whole set. So I got the pads right here. Got the pads right there. You got a jacket right here. Yeah. How much is that though? Oh, them folks taxing, boy. Respiratory therapy, they good to me though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. My sister in law said she liked that. She said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So right now, man, I'm just um, I'm out here at Red Lobster, me and Jody Joe and my son. I'm trying to have a real nice little family out of me before I go and do my travel assignment. My son finna start acting up, he's finna get a little hungry. That's why his mama sat way away from him. She left me by him because you know I know how to calm him and keep him relaxed. But we at Red Lobster, man. You feel me? Gonna have a little lobster, have a little fun, enjoy ourselves, and just enjoy the quality time that we spend together while we're here. What you say you finna get? I think I want the ultimate piece. You want the ultimate piece that costs 35 bucks. Yeah, Jody got expensive taste, man. Gotta have them, man. You gotta have them, there. Gotta have them buttery boys, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I thought they gave us two. Oh, the thing falling apart. Oh, they falling off the bone. The biscuits falling off the bone. Thank you. Thank you. I chose that biscuit. <laughs> I chose the potato. Joe the Joe got the broccoli. They got a little too much damn butter and sour cream, but I can adjust that. So I got my game all packed away here. Louis, sit, man. Sit, sit, sit. Paul on Big Money Bound TV. I'm on Big Money Bound TV. Paul, give me a paw. Okay. Down, down. Sit, go down. Down. Okay. You showed me tricks. So I packed up my game. Y'all forget Louis, man. Louis, fool. He, he like camera time, too. Packed up my game. This is my first time taking my video game, like, with me when I travel anywhere. Like, out of state, in state. I never brought my game. But my homeboy insisted that I take my game with me because we'd be online playing um, Warzone, Vanguard, trying to get some Ws. And I know it's a lot of people out there who want to play with me. But let me get good first. Once I get good, I'm going to get your game on tag and we're going to game it up. So I got my game packed away here. First time traveling with it. It's my PS4. I need the PS5. They're kind of hard to get. So if we get a few dings and a few dents, I ain't tripping because eventually in 2022, I know Jody Joe going to bless me with the PS5. She listening, so I'm throwing the hints. But now I just gotta find, like, somehow I gotta find somewhere to put my camera. Cause I gotta bring my camera with me. I gotta be giving me all them big money bound TV episodes and videos while I'm out of state on this travel assignment. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm going yet. You gotta keep watching. Keep watching. Just know it's a long way from home and it's somewhere I've never been and it's freezing. I'm gonna leave it at that. I gotta find somewhere to put this at now because my other suitcase is kind of filled and I gotta have my camera. I gotta be vlogging for the support of that. That's mandatory, you feel me? It's like 4.45 in the morning. I'm getting ready to leave. My plane take off at 7.45. So Jody got me up early. I said we can leave at 6. I always said you gotta leave at 5 o'clock, so... I'm just doing the final little preparations, getting everything in the bag, like my toiletries, my brushes, my toothbrush, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff, man. I ain't really no morning kind of person, so y'all gotta just be understanding with me. Made it through that shit. Do not answer. Made it through the TSA. That's the worst part about TSA that I hate, man, is that you gotta take off your shoes and stand on the public floor barefoot. That's the worst part, dog. But I got through there. Try to find me a little something to eat. And the plane take off in like 20, 30 minutes. See, man, I'm first class. So I'm supposed to be boarding the plane first. But I got an aisle seat. And I don't like to have everybody just walking by me, walking by me. Because it's COVID-19. So I'm just waiting to the end. I'm going to be the last one on there, bro. I don't got time for people walking about my head. I don't know. I'm scared, my boy. And then the plane leave at 745. They boarding at 705. So I'm going to send 40 minutes just waiting. Not me. Not me. They just said we can have some turbulence on here, man. Not the turby. 
along with your in-flight crew and your cockpit members who are appreciating your business this morning, and it's a privilege to be able to take you on United to Denver. While service is our passion, safety is our top priority, so please take a minute to pay attention to the following life safety demonstration, even if you're a frequent flyer at each aircraft type is a bit different. We're going to ask that you please review the safety card located in your seat pocket and follow along with it so we demonstrate the safety features. Please take your seat, fasten your seatbelt low and tight across your lap. So fasten, slide the metal in the end of the buckle, tighten by pulling the loose end of the strap, and lift the buckle to release. So now I'm currently in um, Denver, Colorado. I got a layover for about um, an hour and a half. And then I'm going to my destination now. My first solo travel assignment. I say solo because I've been on a travel assignment before. But the one I was on before, it was more like they did everything for me. I just had to show up to the hotel they had already prepared for me. This one, I had to do my own travel, my own housing when I get there and my own transportation. The other agency I was with, they took all that for you. So this here is really the ones you got to put your big boy pants on and go get it. So we almost there, man. Y'all just keep watching. Welcome you to Great Falls. Please stay comfortably seated until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Don't forget to show your seat back pocket to make sure that you have all of your personal belongings and be careful when opening overhead compartments. You're not free to use your mobile phones. So I made it here. This airport here a little different though. Yeah, this airport in is crowded, man. This one in is crowded. So I'm in Great Falls, Montana. Tony, Montana. I'm way up there in the West Coast, up there to that corner left piece in the mountain town. Bro, I'm from Florida, dog. But you know when it's about that fatty? For my family, I do what I gotta do now. I know a lot of people been on the phone with Crucial trying to get in the Crucial, trying to get in the Crucial. On the phone, four, five, six, seven hours getting hung up on. Hey, there's money out here. You just gotta look around, bro. Don't be wasting it. Bro, there's money out just keep watching but you want to know about it. it's, it's more than just crucial now i can put your own game you just gotta keep watching drop down in the comments and let me know more travel content is coming to you man i got a lot to do i'm cold out here bro it's like 40 degrees i got my big boy north face on i'm bro, I, I can't ready man i ain't gonna play with these folks dog but thank y'all for watching thank y'all for supporting man you know like i said 2025 i'm trying to hang it up dog so i gotta in these last few years, you know, just running it up, grinding and getting it like that so I can really be in a position to really say, 